This is a Huffman tree for the phrase Huffman encoding, and it's super cool. Let's talk about it. Imagine you're taking a data compression class, which happens to be taught by one of the world leading experts in the field. You're given the option to do a final project, and in the process, you fundamentally revolutionize the field of data compression for decades to come. That is basically the story of Huffman encoding. It was just a graduate student sitting in class that happened to have a very good idea. And that's why I find it so cool. Here's the idea. We start with a phrase we want to encode into bits. Let's say bibbity bobbity. If we want to minimize the number of bits, it doesn't make sense to use the same number of bits to describe all characters. After all, B is used so often that if it is only one bit shorter than the other characters, we could save a lot of space. So we need a method that guarantees the smallest encoded message, but also ensures that we can decode our message super easily. Here was Huffman's idea. Step one, list all characters in order from the most to least used and place the frequency of appearance next to each letter. Step two, combine the two least frequent values together. Step three, do step two again until you have created a binary tree. Step four, go backwards through the tree and every time you go up, place a zero and when you go down, place a one. The code word for each character will be the concatenation of these values and will create a code book like this. Step five, use that code book to encode or decode your message. And that's it. Here's the whole process again for the nursery rhyme Jack and Jill. Again, you just progressively add the least frequent values and then read the tree backwards to create your codebook. Obviously, Huffman trees vary a bunch depending on what you want to encode, and that's kind of the point. In the future, we will definitely cover variations on this method, but for now, there's a lot of extra information in the algorithm archive, including a measure to tell how optimal your codebook is, notes on prefix-free codes, and implementation details. As always, please feel free to send me your version in your favorite language via pull request. Anyway, I think that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and thanks to these people for helping with the algorithm archive so far. I'll see you next time. Also, here's an encoded joke. It's definitely not worth decoding. <laughs> As a note, I missed a lot of information in this video, and that was kind of for a purpose. See, in my opinion, these videos should be short, intuitive descriptions of a particular topic. If you want long form or particularly descriptive content from me, feel free to go to the Algorithm Archive or Twitch. That's where I put all of the deep, vegany details. Is vegany a thing or is it just meaty? Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you next time.